Are you staying on an Airbnb or one hotel? Hotel. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to get home at midnight. This is awful. <laughs> Are you water? I'm Piper. And this is Brendan. And today's travel vlog is going to take place in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. This travel vlog is actually going to be two parts because we were here for... <sighs> So many days. So many days. Uh, like almost over a week. Oh, yeah, over seven a week. Days, yeah. yeah, seven days. So we are going to. Oh, there's construction. I hope you can't hear that. But we are going to have this travel vlog take place. Um, we're going to cut it in half. I'm losing my train of thought. Brooklyn immediately got a drink and is now on the phone with her boyfriend who gets here tomorrow. I am wearing a shirt. We finally checked into the room. My mom has her own, my mom and dad have their own room. Brooklyn and I have our own room. And then when Brendan and Ben get here tomorrow, then we are all sharing a room for a night. And then Brendan and I have our own room and then Brooklyn and Ben have their own room. It's very confusing. There's my dad. This is Brooklyn. You'll be seeing a lot of her during this vlog. No. And she's really weird. This is my dad. Dad say hi to the vlog. So yeah, that's that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a little three-way couples trip with my parents. So stay tuned for that adventure. That's weird. <laughs> so I am in New York City. Piper is in Mexico. I'm stuck I'm trying to get rid of her couch so she can get her security deposit back. Um, apparently that's how much I love her. Um, so her couch is still here. I have a flight at five in the morning. I'm in Boston, I'm in New York City. I have to get her couch situated, waiting on a U-Haul, drive four hours to Boston, pack, sleep for 37 seconds, and meet Piper in Mexico. I can't, I can't wait. margaritas of some sort and I'm stuck in this empty lonely apartment well it's been roughly two hours waiting for Piper's friend with a U-Haul to pick up the couch it's almost seven o'clock I still need to pack I have to be at the airport at 3.30 in Boston. If everything goes well, because I have to go to her friend's apartment in Brooklyn and help her unload it and set it up. If all goes well, I'll get home by 11 or midnight. <sighs> all right, we're at our first night of dinner and there's really loud music playing. And it's the buffet. Here's mom, we had salad. Here's Brooklyn. She had two drinks and she looks like she's been drinking for seven days straight and never had a sip of water in her life, but she's pounding this frosting in a cup. It's not frosting. It smells like frosting. Anyway, I'm also still wearing a shirt. Oh, there she is. Scoping out the rest of the desserts. What's Corda Corda Lala? Corda Lala. Corda Lala. You guys are in for a treat. This must be a very interesting vlog. It is eight o'clock. I'm in Brooklyn. Just finished unloading everything. I have to drive back to Massachusetts. This is awful. <laughs> I 
just got home. It is midnight on the dot, uh, four hour drive, one stop for gas and protein bar, of course, um, and just over four hour drive. So I have about an hour to pack and shower and whatnot. And I don't know if it's worth it or not, but try to sleep for an hour um, and then get up and go to the bus stop logan express to then go to the logan airport then fly to charlotte i believe and then to cabo and arrive in cabo at 11:30 with piper's family so yeah this has been a full day of festivities i must keep it moving see you in mexico <laughs> Okay, it is our first morning. Um, Brooklyn and I just worked out. She's booing my parents because they are currently in the pool <laughs> playing volleyball. My dad has been like, I'm gonna kick everyone's butt in volleyball, blah, blah, blah. So there they are. Brooklyn and I had a little run at the gym and now we're eating breakfast. Brooklyn, what do D1 athletes eat for breakfast? Um, fruit and carbs. How was your run? It was hot. Yeah, it's a little humid, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get breakfast. Brendan should be here in about two hours. Ben should be here about three hours after that. We're gonna enjoy the day. Because we thought I was, it was like trying to make like, a cute turn and just like body someone on accident. <laughs> downtown area I think it's my mom said it's old town so there's a gorgeous little art installation a bunch of art pieces and then there's live music on these little side streets obviously this street I think there's a bunch of galleries so this is gorgeous I'm so happy we left the resort uh, I'm all for leaving the resort um, and doing activities and excursions but this is like a perfect evening time activity the one downfall right now is there's so many bugs like my legs are already 
well you can't tell because it's dark out but they're welted and they itch so bad so I think we should be investing in some bug spray ASAP <laughs> That would make you Chloe, sister. That would make Sierra Courtney. Ah! In this situation, you're Kim. Yeah, bitch. You're not Kim. Does that make me Pete Davidson? Stop <laughs> moving your head, please. Are those butt cheeks feel like that? Um, really can't contain them. It's <laughs> moving furniture upstairs. It's Brendan's first full day, my second full day. We are embarrassed to vlog in front of people. Um, Brooklyn's just giving us the finger. Oh, yeah. Um, I need sunglasses. It's so bright out right now. But we are having like a weird room. The reservations are weird. So like we're moving rooms. This is like the plan all along. But our stuff is in my parents' room right now. We're gonna hang out. Our room will be ready around one. Then we'll go to our room, and Brooklyn and Ben will go to their room. We are sitting on the balcony right now. It is gorgeous. Hello. It is gorgeous. We booked snorkeling for tomorrow. Um, today we might go boogie boarding. I really want to play beach volleyball. My swimsuit is already broken. Um, <gasps> uh, can I take a picture? Nope. Yeah, happy day too. We had all these big plans for the day. We actually didn't, but we had some plans for the day. And we went to the pool for maybe, I don't even know, like two hours. We ended up playing water volleyball with a bunch of kids at the pool. We are that family on vacation that gets everyone together to play a round of volleyball or some activity. We had like every kid in the whole resort playing with us. And then I was exhausted because my lovely sister woke me up so early this morning. Now we're going back down to the pool to get more sun. I need to put on more sunscreen. I hate when this happens. Like anybody who has had has braids knows like I hate when they get ratty. It actually makes me so mad, but it is what it is. They got wet. I had got them wet in the pool. It is what it is, but that's what we're doing now, so. Can't see anything with these glasses indoors. That would cool though. Okay, we are going snorkeling today. Um, Brendan and I both were not feeling well last night, so we are kind of just trying to be troopers today because I was having stomach issues and Bren, Bren, <laughs> Brendan was feeling really dizzy, but I think we're doing a little better now that we, ha at least I am, now that I ate a little something and had some electrolytes, but I don't know, how are you feeling? Well, I did sleep for minimum 12 hours last night yeah you went to bed at like 9 30. <laughs> um so i'm feeling a little bit better but yeah i was like must have just been dehydrated um considering i didn't have any water all day that must have been that's it. probably it yeah i had a pedialyte and uh, some water feeling okay piper's um spent most of her time in and around the bathroom doing uh putting that behind us and 
we're gonna go start today. We're gonna go see some fish. We're gonna do some outdoor activities. That's what today's gonna be. I am just gonna say that I'm better and rock with that. My stomach hurts significantly. <laughs> are you water? We are snorkeling. I'd hate to admit it, but we're just so tired. Brennan got a lot of sleep, but like wasn't good sleep. I'm assuming because he was sick and I didn't get sleep because of the aforementioned issues. But yes, we're complaining about being on vacation. No, no, no. We're, no, we're complaining about not feeling well. We're not complaining about being on vacation. We're gonna have fun though. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> the perfect pre snorkeling snack. Hey vlog, so I'm just gonna take you along on a little tour. So right now we're at the marina, if you will. If you will. Okay. Earlier you could see a little dolphin tail up in here. Not anymore. Okay, I'm gonna take you outside. Okay, this is kind of pretty. Oh, she cute, 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 she cute. Okay, that is all. Here's our little little place where we're waiting for our tour to happen. Oh, look at our tour guide. Let's see what he has to say. Alrighty. What did he say? Uh, he said you're not allowed to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And see. And, um, So bad. Right now. <laughs> it's cold. I don't like cold.
got GPS sensitive ears. Oh, do this. We're getting ready for dinner. Snorkeling today was fun. Except <laughs> the snorkel tour was on a boat that was like, there was no shade. So literally the second that we got on the boat to like when we got back into the van, we were outside. So we were already dehydrated because of just not being well. <laughs> and then sitting outside in the sun all day, like I was not like I felt like I was gonna pass out at any moment so well, let's just put it this way our first snorkel adventure together was in Aruba we had like a proper boat um, yeah this was like a dinghy like it was like the boat that hooks onto the other boat to help you get to your destination well so yeah in Aruba we were able to like jump off the side and and have room to spread around to be away from people spread if you wanted around. to I'm sorry I'm sorry you're just gonna in like continue it's been an amazing couple of days here but the sun has really beat us up. Um, and I like, I'm still in such a good mood, but. I'm in a good mood, my tummy just is a little upset. We just went with uh, lettuce tonight for dinner for me and see if that does anything. Piper hands me her phone with her camera ready. I know <laughs> I understand the assignment. You have the whole lens cap on. Take it off? Yeah. Of course. We missed it. No. Oh. Well, you can see the remnants. That smoke there? <laughs> that was fireworks. <laughs> I think someone got proposed. And they just had fireworks in their back pocket, ready to deploy. 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 I need some time alone to come away from here. Look at that moon. So now I know when Piper says let's take a romantic walk on the beach, it is exclusively for pictures. Well I said let's take a walk on the beach and then he said should we get the camera and I was like maybe we should take some pictures. She knew when she said let's take a walk on the beach that I would suggest cameras and then she got what she wanted, her plan worked. Now we're doing TikToks and such. An evil genius I am. <laughs> She's smarter than she looks, that little <laughs> bagel. Good job, babe. That was really good. Thank you. Alright, can you ask some questions? Remember, like, that was just blurry. Oh my god, that was funny. Hey, vlog. Don't touch me with your <laughs> cabeza. Cabeza? <laughs> you idiot. I know. That's why it's silly. Phalanges. Don't touch me with your phalanges. Crap. Oh, look 
gonna land in the ocean. Good morning. It is, I don't even know what day anymore because I lost track of how many days we are into this thing. But I'm going to get a massage this morning. It was kind of a last minute decision that I made by myself this morning. I asked Brendan if he wanted to come, but he doesn't really like massages past like 30 minutes. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a massage and then I think we might do a beach day. Ben wants to go surfing and maybe like we'll go boogie boarding because we can't surf, but yeah. That's what we have in store for today. I'm up here in the gym working hard, sweating. Piper's getting herself pampered. Big pamper day for her. These are my first few moments alone. Piper is getting massage, and I was excited to have a little time to myself um, to regroup, re-energize. Um, but now I don't know what to do with my time. Piper usually is there telling me what to do. Um, so now I'm, I'm making decisions on my own. This is a big step for me. Uh, I just don't know which way to go from here. So I'll be... Uh, sitting here until she gets back waiting for direction on my next move we are going to a secret beach to learn how to surf boogie board oh, Jesus. Ben's actually the one who's going to be teaching us though this is his adventure it's going to be us soon I had to chug a Red Bull because I was so zen for my massage also just tired because I just live tired here <laughs> I mean, why not try? We're doing it. I do a boogie board because, and switch off with someone else's surfboard. But for maximum fun, I'm gonna boogie board. <laughs> Careful, Brooklyn. What's up, guys? <laughs> I am taking risks today. I'm going to try to surf for the first time. Um, I may fall. I may slap my belly on the water, but see what happens. We got Piper playing it safe with the boogie board. Boogie board's still fun, but uh, she's got the boogie board body, so suits her well. Boogie board legend. Go, Bale. Just immediately blasted. This water's so clear, though. Get in there, Bagel. It's been five minutes and they haven't gone in yet. They're both nervous. It's just water. I feel like I want to swim in it first. Cold from Piper. Piper, 
hurry up. That's a good start, good start. Something. Look at you. Is it very super obvious that you have to use it for you? It's a big boy. You need Ben to help you. Yeah. Well, you look good at least. So Piper is going to attempt to surf for the first time ever. These waves are they're a little bit bigger than they look. Um, but yeah, if you can go, I'm sure some local person will save her. I'm not. <laughs> 